so let's start out by making a new script. And the new script is going to be called trigger via collide, or v trigger via raycast, sorry. Uh, there we go. So with trigger via raycast, I would have trigger via raycast and trigger via collide open. Uh, the reason being trigger via raycast is going to have a lot of the properties that this one already has. In other words, this part right here. So I have my function start, my opening bracket, and my closing bracket, and there should be two closing brackets at that point. So one, two, three, actually four. I see that there's one missing here. And so make sure you count these brackets up, you know, just because they're they're functioning quite well doesn't mean sometimes ah oh, there it is it's hidden ha so I was right that's why it worked so I'm just gonna write this so it looks better and save that out another thing you should get in the habit of is commenting out stuff so we're going to start doing that in the next video where we tidy up these quite a bit it's going to be a requirement from now on in the class so this is what I need, the function via start, and I'm going to copy that. In fact, I need all this. Okay. Also, I need a new function out here called function via update. I'll need a little bit of the code from there in a second, but let's get started typing this out. So a function update, you know, occurs every frame and the f function trigger only uh, occurs when an event happens. So a raycast needs to always be updating in order for it to work. We might find ways around that and they would be maybe ethical. Uh, I need this little bit of code here. Sorry, I keep copying and pasting, but you know, as we get along with this uh, project that I've set out, we don't really need to type a whole lot. There we go. So there's a if. So I'm still looking for the player at this point. Is he a player? But now this is where it changes. Okay, so I have a variable out there called forward. And what this means is I'm able to take and tell Unity what direction the force field is facing. And I know everybody in video game knows what a Claymore mine is, right? And those are those mines that you put in the ground and it says point in this direction. So to for you to remember it now, Corresponding to a Claymore mine, a raycast needs to be pointed in some direction. Um, and this is all supposed to be transform period. There we go. Wow, I knew it was something like that. So variable forward equals transform period transform direction. So what at direction am I pointing? And I'm going to state it right now. It's going to be vector three right. Nice. All right, now what happens when I evade something? Well, I haven't even built the force field yet. The force field is just like this. If the physics period raycast
transform period position. is forward, I need it to span out a distance. So what is that distance? Well, I'm going to call it area. And then open that up. And then close it. Okay. Well, I also need to declare what area is. Uh, so I'm going to finish this up in the next video.